Hello, you WCers. Okay, some some adjustments first. Here we are. My name is Najim Karam. I'm an artist and architect from Beirut and the author of the two sculptures called Stretching Thoughts, which are now in the fields of UWC Atlantic College. I grew up during the Lebanese War and then spent 10 years studying in Japan, exploring concepts of Middle Eastern and Far East space. And then for my doctorate thesis, I worked on the architecture of performance, which was a study of a very specific type of Buddhist temples. My first artistic expression in Tokyo was about micro-pluralism, the idea that diversity could be a source of enrichment rather than conflict. This was very important for me coming from the Middle East. This became the backbone also of all my work from then on, whether it was in paintings, sculptures, or large-scale projects. It was also from my time in Tokyo that I began considering the city and the urban environment as a living, breathing organism. My interactions with my professor Hara also led me to look at space, and specifically urban space, in a different way. I chose to return to Beirut. The war had ended. Beirut downtown looked like a cemetery. The mood was morose, and I decided that we needed to bring new stories to Beirut, to combat the sadness and nihilism with dreams. In fact, I created three urban art projects for Beirut and then went on to create projects for other cities in the world, interacting with communities, cultures and memories with my sculptures. Taking art to the streets to engage with people and provide a catalyst for thoughts, instead of putting it behind closed doors, was extremely important for me. Stretching Thoughts was always there before it actually took shape in 2014. It was always about the effort of thinking beyond boundaries, daring to dream and being strong enough to act. The bodies of the sculptures take their lines from the overlap of all my different sculptures elements. So for me, it is a concentration of diversity into one humanoid androgynous shape. The heads of my sculptures are clouds. Clouds are the stuff of dreams, vapors, and immaterial. They have no clear limits, which means they have infinite possibilities. But the lines of my cloud heads are not blurred. They are made of lines of endeavor and dreams, and the feeling is that if you could unravel them, they could stretch infinitely. The seated stretching thoughts nicknamed The Thinker, is situated across the road from the residential houses in reference to the fermentation of knowledge and ideas. The standing stretching thoughts, called The Shepherd, is situated across the fields toward the cliffs. It looks out to the sea and to the horizon. It is there to remind us of the importance of dreams and what we do with them, how we can translate them into action, and like a shepherd, carry a whole community with us. While thinking and dreaming, could we together find a fresh perspective on the Middle East? It is the focal point of most political, social, cultural and economic discourses in our world today. It's mainly considered from the perspective of a problem, not necessarily for me, from where I stand by choice in Beirut, the Middle East is a world full of potential and energy, coming from ancient civilizations and ready to interact on a world stage if given the chance. Now, by finding the right measure of objectivity and sensitivity, it is my hope that you will become both thinkers and shepherds and try to grasp the complex dynamics and rich mosaic that define the Middle East. I wish you all the best for this conference.